With the release of the Witch Queen, that means we've got another title to go after, and this one is called Gumshoe. So there's a bunch of triumphs we need to complete to work through the Witch Queen content, and today I'm going to go through all of them so you can complete that title and proudly wear it as soon as possible. Well, if you're new around here or find this useful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below for all the latest Destiny 2 content and turn on notifications by hitting that bell. And roughly 98% of viewers who watch this week in video games are subscribed. So subscribe today and never miss an update. We can find all of your titles on your Triumphs tab, and that can be accessed on the character screen in Destiny 2. So the Witch Queen, or the Gumshoe title, well that one has 8 Triumphs in total. This is going to take you all over the throne world, looking in every nook and cranny, and much of the content you're going to be able to complete solo, although there are a couple of master difficulty activities on here that you may need a fire team for. Well, let's have a look at all of the triumphs first of all, and then I'll go through each one of them in some detail. So I do also have guides on the channel for some specific triumphs. So if you're stuck on something, then search on this week in video game for the triumph name, and you should find a guide going into much more detail on the steps. What I'll do as well, I'll link all the relevant videos down there in the description. Well, let's have a look at all the triumphs. So first of all, we've got Master of Truth. Complete any campaign mission on Master Difficulty. We've got Buddy Up. Claim all 14 rank rewards from Finch. We've got Hardware of the Throne. So craft all nine Wellspring and Throne World weapons. We've got Report Reverse Lure. So that's Complete Report Reverse Lure and basically get the exotic glaive. We've got Of Queen and Worms. To so complete the exotic quest, Of Queen and Worms. And that is the Parasite exotic quest. Next one is Lepidopterist, and so collect and mount all 10 unique Lucent Moths in the Throne World. And then we got No Peaking, so close all 10 Darkness Rifts in the Throne World. And finally, we got World Champions, so defeat 50 champions in the Throne World Lost Sectors on any difficulty. So first up then, we got Master of Truth. This one is pretty straightforward. Complete any campaign mission on Master Difficulty. And you can be able to unlock variable difficulty weekly campaign missions by ranking up at Finch, and he's the vendor on the Throne World. Once you've unlocked this, then you're going to need to complete any mission, but do be aware this is a 1580 activity. Well, next up, we've got Buddy Up. So for this one, we have to rank up at Finch and collect all the rewards. So ranking up at Finch can be done on the Throne World through a combination of public events, bounties, patrols, and killing higher tier yellow bar enemies. Previously, Deep Sight Tier 3 chests awarded a lot of XP, although Bungie recently disabled the Tier 3 chest farm, as many Guardians completely ranked up at Finch in only a few hours after release. It's not clear at the time I'm making this guide if the Tier 3 chest will be back, but I imagine Bungie will want to address that quick farming method. And for the moment, a combination of public events, patrols, bounties, you know, all at the same time is going to rank you up quite quickly. Well, next up, we've got Hardware of the Throne. So for this triumph, you need to craft all the Throne World weapons and also the Wellspring weapons too. And they include the Pointed Inquiry, Empirical Evidence, Forensic Nightmare, the Likely Suspect, and the Red Herring. Then we've got the Wellspring Weapon, so Come to Pass, Fell Taradiddle, Father's Sins, and Tarnation. So as I mentioned, the final four weapons there, so the Come to Pass, Fell Taradiddle, Father's Sins, and Tarnation come from the Wellspring activity, and they are pretty rare drops at the moment. So that is going to be fixed next week in a patch, so hopefully we're going to get more versions with Deep Sight Resonance when that fix is in place. The first five weapons can drop from most activities in the Throne World, including rank up packages at Finch, so crafting these shouldn't be too much of an issue. You know, once you've got the patterns, head to the Enclave in the Throne World, and then simply get crafting. Well, Next up we've got Report Reverse Lure. So this one is the Exotic Glaive mission, and it's going to be made available in the game after the Vow of Disciple Raid is released, so to be able to complete this one, you have to complete all the other missions on the evidence board at the Enclave. And these missions, they're fairly straightforward. Just pick up the bounties or the mini missions from the board, complete them, and then take on the report reverse lore. And I will have a specific guide on the channel for this one when it's released in the game. Well, next up, we've got Of Queen and Worms. Well, this is a mission for the Parasite Exotic Grenade Launcher. And to access this one, you have to complete the campaign for the Witch Queen and then have a chat with Mara Sov. It's a multi-part quest, and I do have a specific guide on the channel for this one. You're going to be running around the throne world completing various activities, and it all culminates in some really good lore involving Mara Sov, plus you've got to get that hive worm grenade launcher at the end. 
and that has some insane DPS potential. You can check out the guide for the Parasite Quest on This Week in Video Games. Well, next up we got Lepidopterist, and the next triumph is all about hunting down the Lucent Moths around the Throne World. So these are being released week after week, and it involves going to various locations in the Throne World, and either killing a specific enemy, or using Deep Sight to solve a rune puzzle. So I've been tracking down all the locations, and I've got them in separate guides for you. Simply search Lucent Moths on This Week in Video Games, and you're going to find those guides on the YouTube channel. And I'll also put a link to all of them in the description of this guide. Well, next up we got No Peeking, so this one is another fetch quest. There's 10 Darkness Rifts on the Throne World in various locations, so you're going to need the Parasite Grenade Launcher to damage them as you shoot near the floor and use that buff applied by the Worm Splash. So find the 10 locations, shoot the Darkness Rifts, and then the Triumph is complete. Again, you can check out a specific guide for this one on This Week in Video Games by searching for Darkness Rifts on the YouTube channel, or you can check down below in the description. Well, next up we got World Champions, so for this triumph you have to defeat 50 champions in Throne World Lost Sectors. So we've got three Lost Sectors on the Throne World, and the selected Lost Sector rotates each day. The Daily Lost Sector rotates around all the planets and the moons, and to access this you have to clear out all the Lost Sectors on the regular difficulty. So once you've done this, the Legend or the Master Lost Sector is going to show up with a little blue shield icon, indicating it's much harder than a regular Lost Sector. So check out what champions are going to be in that lost sector by hovering over the blue icon, and then simply match your mods and weapons to the champion types. Go in there and then kill 50 to complete that triumph. You will need to repeat a few lost sectors to kill 50 in total, but you'll have the benefit of being able to get the exotics too if you complete the lost sector solo. Well, for the final requirement, you have to get the Witch Queen badge, and the final step here is to collect 21 items related to the Witch Queen content. And that includes, so we've got the Parasite Grenade Launcher. You have to complete the Of Queen and Worms exotic quest. You've got the Exotic Glaive, so complete the Report Reverse Law exotic quest. So we've got the Witch Queen Throne World Armor, so you find that by going around the Throne World. So we've got the Veritas set, and that includes the Helmet, Gloves, Chest, Boots, and also the Class Item 2. We've got a Higher Truth Emblem, so complete the Witch Queen's Campaign. And we've got Ruinous Class Shader, so complete all the Spring's Riches Triumph. You earn that by earning all four Wellspring weapons. That's Father Sins, Tarnation, Fell Taradiddle, and also Come to Pass. We've got the Queen's Colours Shader, and you find that by exploring the Throne World. You've got the Fundamental Shell, so complete the Chief Investigator Triumph. You know, you earn that by reaching 350 deduction score from completing a secret triumph in the Throne World. Then we've got the Star Jasmine Ship, so complete the Warden of the Spring Triumph, earned by completing the Wellspring on Master Difficulty, while each of the four bosses are active. Then we've got Empirical Evidence, so complete the Witch Queen's Campaign. Then we've got Forensic Nightmare, so you complete the Chief Investigator Triumph, and you earn that by acquiring all four Wellspring weapons, as Father Sins, Tarnation, Fell Taradil, and also Come to Pass. We've got Pointed Inquiry, found by exploring the Throne World, also likely suspect. And finally we've got Red Herring, and you get that by completing the Witch Queen Campaign. And finally, we've got the Wellspring Weapon, so we've got Fell Taradiddle. Well, that drops from a boss called Boar Gong, and that's the Warden of Spring in the Wellspring activity. We've got Come to Pass, that drops from Golmag, that's the Warden of Spring in the Wellspring activity. We've got Father Sins, drops from Xeric Lightflyer in the Wellspring activity. And finally, we've got Tarnation, drops from Vezul, he is the Lightflyer in the Wellspring activity. Well that's it, once you've completed the Triumphs and the Badge, then you'll be able to equip the Gumshoe title for the Witch Queen, and you're going to be able to show off you know every square inch of the Throne World and the Witch Queen expansion. So once you do this, head on over to Bungie Rewards website, and if you link your Bungie account with the Bungie store, you'll be able to buy a really nice reward, and that includes a very nice real life version of the seal. Well let me know in the comments what you think of the Witch Queen Gumshoe title, and that is it for this guide on how to get the Witch Queen Gumshoe title in Destiny 2. And as always, thank you so much for watching. For more Destiny 2 content like this, hit that subscribe button down below and subscribe to This Week in Video Games. Or check me out on Twitter at TWIVG Podcast. If you enjoyed this video, found it useful, liking and sharing the video would really help me out. Otherwise, check out the other videos on the channel. Well, thanks again. I'll see you soon.